President Biden is expected to attend his first L.A. fundraiser since announcing his 2024 re-election bid. Lenny Kravitz is scheduled to perform at the high-priced event co-hosted by the likes of Steven Spielberg, Shonda Rhimes, and Rick Caruso. Rick Caruso, businessman, philanthropist, and former candidate for L.A. mayor. Welcome back to the show. Good to Good see you. Good seeing you. Thanks for having me. Okay. Uh, okay. This thing is not cheap. <laughs> never you are. do it, right? <laughs> never are. So candidates aren't shy. You are clearly sending a message. Yes. What is the message you're sending? Why was it important for you to do this? Well, the message I'm sending is clear. I support Joe Biden for president, and I support stability. I support having somebody in there that does not have disdain for the fundamental principles of our democracy, and I support somebody that's got a lot of experience in dealing with a complicated world. Um, and the people that are showing up, listen, Michael and James have done an incredible job chairing this event. There's Republicans, there's Democrats, there's independents, there's every like out of the city that's coming here. Um, and that shows that there's a broad base of support. The people really care about the city, they care about the state, and they certainly care about our great country. Obviously, polls show that Joe Biden is way ahead here in California. Pretty yeah. safe to assume that the Democrats are going to win California. But you look at some of the swing states. Yeah. Some of those numbers are concerning for Democrats. Donald Trump, despite 91 felony indictments. It's amazing. Yeah. Neck and neck. Yeah. Are you concerned? Do you think Biden's the best candidate? I think he's the best candidate. I think he's going to be the best president. There's no doubt about it. Um, we're a year out. I mean, polls change a lot. Um, things change a lot, but right now we've got two candidates, and the choice to me is crystal clear that Joe Biden is the right candidate and is going to be the right president over Donald Trump. You've been doing a lot of work um, to support moderate Democrats going forward. You visited right. Capitol Hill recently. Right. Uh, you are fundraising for them. You're supporting them in primaries. How do you see the Democratic Party? What should the party look like? The party should be moderate. You know, it should be fiscally conservative and socially liberal. That's the way I've lived my life. That's why I've, I've aligned with the Democratic Party. But it's about getting moderates elected. And frankly, it's moderates on the Democratic side and moderates on the Republican that can actually work together, that care about moving this country forward and get the extremists out of the way. We just don't need it. And Trump is like the chief extremist. He just takes up all the oxygen in the room. We don't have to, we shouldn't be doing that anymore. But isn't that hard, given the way our media system is set up? It seems like it rewards extremists. It Social does. media is all about who says the, the craziest thing. It does. That's why people like me and others need to get out there and support moderates. Again, both on the Republican and the Democratic side, people that care. I mean, look what happened years ago with Reagan and Tip O'Neill. And, you know, people still remember that on Capitol Hill, where everybody would work together. I was on the phone the other day with a very prominent congresswoman who said, I worked for Tip O'Neill. I, I saw how this happened back in the day. I think we can get back there, and I'm going to work hard to do it. And meanwhile, in the cities themselves, which are pretty much run by Democrats, there's yeah. angst, uh, uh, even among some moderate Democrats, yeah. about things like homelessness and crime. Uh, just last night, we interviewed a guy whose business got uh, vandalized, and he had this to say. This whole strip has been broken to. Our neighbors have been broken to four times. These guys just got broken to two months ago. What are we supposed to do? We're a small construction company. I voted for Karen Bass. I voted for Biden. I voted for Gavin Newsom. I'm sick of it. It's like at some point you have to give me a reason to vote for you again. So obviously you wish you voted for somebody else, but <laughs> I'm gonna what, give him a call. what is your message uh, I, to him and, and other people like him? Yeah, my message to him is I feel his pain. I own property in this city. I run a business in the city. I run a business that's been vandalized in the city. It shouldn't happen. People should be frustrated. People should demand better. And they should demand accountability from their elected officials. Stop electing people that don't do the job. And so... Do we think of that? It is possible you may run for something else. I don't know. It's really yeah. early on. But what I am going to do in the interim is I'm going to do my best to make sure that people that really care and can get a job done, make our city, state, and country safer, I'm going to support them. Uh, now, something you've been doing way before you even thought about running for office has been d donating time, money to the community, especially around the holidays yeah. times. Can you talk about some of the work that you and your family are, are doing right now? Uh, especially this season. Yeah, well, thanks. Listen, we're really blessed, and so we believe that, you know, people that are blessed need to give back and should give back and do it joyfully, and we do. But we were down in Watts. We gave away 250 turkey dinners and, and uh, people that are in need, and 
these great families coming out of the, you know, Nickers and Gardens and every place else that we support. We're doing a big event at the Grove for a couple hundred kids for the holidays. So we just love that. And it makes our life just so much better. And it, it makes what Christmas is really important about, which is sharing and giving back and having some joy in life. We love that. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Merry Hanukkah. Merry Christmas, right? Merry Christmas. All, all of the things. All uh, of the great above. Great to see you, Rick. Really appreciate it. Always and, great uh, being with you. All right. In Marla. our great city. Back over to you.